This video will explain the importance of interleukins and the role they play in our immune system. The immune system is designed to defend your body against foreign substances and is comprised of many components. When you think of the immune system, white blood cells are what typically comes to mind. White blood cells protect the body against infectious disease and foreign invaders. Neutrophils are a type of white blood cell that can ingest and kill bacteria and are typically the first responder cells to migrate to sites of inflammation. But how do they do this? Neutrophils follow chemical signals presented by interleukins. They migrate through blood vessels towards sites of infection by detecting the chemical gradients of interleukin proteins, represented by the green molecules in this image. Interleukins are a subset of cellular messenger molecules called cytokines and are important in stimulating immune responses such as inflammation. Infectious bacteria triggers the release of these pro-inflammatory cytokines, interleukins. The interleukin-1 family of cytokines is made up of 11 proteins encoded by 11 distinct genes in humans. Interleukin-1 type cytokines are mediators of innate immune reactions. Specifically, interleukin-1 alpha and interleukin-1 beta are involved in pro-inflammatory response, while interleukin-1 receptor antagonist functions as an inhibitor for both. Interleukin-1 alpha and beta possess a strong inflammatory effect. They, along with their natural biological inhibitor, the interleukin-1 receptor antagonist, all include a beta trifoil fold in their protein structure. The central role of interleukins in human autoinflammatory disease is demonstrated by the interleukin-1 receptor antagonist blocking the interleukin alpha or beta pro-inflammatory function. Pro-inflammatory activities of interleukin-1, alpha, and beta are restricted by the interleukin-1 receptor antagonist at three major levels, synthesis and release, competitively binding membrane receptors, and intracellular signal transduction. Interleukin-1, alpha, and beta bind to the same receptor molecule, the interleukin-1 receptor. However, there is a third ligand that binds this receptor, the interleukin-1 receptor antagonist which when bound does not activate downstream signaling. This is an example of competitive inhibition. This means that the interleukin-1 receptor antagonist acts as an inhibitor of the interleukin-1, alpha, and beta pro-inflammatory function by competing with them for binding sites of the receptor. Defects in biochemical pathways of interleukins can cause chronic inflammation. Rheumatoid arthritis affects about 1.5 million people in the United States. In patients suffering from this autoinflammatory disease, the body's immune system attacks its own tissue, including joints. In severe cases, the body attacks internal organs. Now here is where interleukins come into play. In patients suffering from rheumatoid arthritis, the alpha and beta pro-inflammatory interleukins are overexpressed, causing chronic inflammation. However, a treatment exists that utilizes the inhibition properties of the interleukin-1 receptor antagonist. Anakinra is a recombinant form of the human interleukin-1 receptor antagonist that was FDA approved in 2001 for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. The difference between anakinra and the natural human interleukin-1 receptor antagonist is that anakinra has an extra methionine residue at the amino terminus. Since patients with rheumatoid arthritis have elevated levels of interleukin-1, alpha, and beta, or in other words, a lot of proteins causing inflammation, to treat rheumatoid arthritis, anakinra blocks their biological activity by competitively inhibiting their binding to the receptor. Hopefully, this looks familiar, as this is an analog of the competitive inhibition seen by the receptor antagonist. Anakinra binds competitively to the interleukin-1 type receptor, thereby inhibiting the action of elevated levels of interleukin-1, alpha, and beta, which would normally lead to chronic inflammation. Anakinra binds competitively to the interleukin-1 receptor, thereby inhibiting the action of elevated levels of interleukin-1, alpha, and beta, which would normally lead to chronic inflammation. A study by Merton showed a significant decrease in inflammation in participants treated with anakinra, providing the conclusion that anakinra is an efficacious therapy for rheumatoid arthritis. However, for patients using anakinra, although their chronic inflammation is reduced, the drug's short half-life of 4-6 to six hours forces them to require daily injections. 
In the future, combination therapies with other anti-rheumatic drugs will occur, as well as further study of anakinra's effects to help us better understand the development of inflammatory diseases. Thanks for watching.